everybody, it's Tiffany here and we are back with an all new video. I'm going to be showing you how to make this super yummy red salsa. You're going to need two jalapenos, six tomatoes, one teaspoon of garlic, one small onion, and some dried peppers. You can find these peppers in the produce aisle and they do come in a bag with a lot in them. Salt and a blender. We are gonna go ahead and cut up all of the tomatoes. Now you could easily double or triple this recipe. You know, I think it will depend on how much salsa that you eat during the week. We love to have this on eggs, on tacos, really about anything. It is very, very delicious. It is very healthy for you because as you know, tomatoes have a lot of vitamin C and that is something that you actually cannot produce in your body. Having this salsa around gives you and and your family some extra vitamins and nutrients. Add all of your tomatoes to your blender. Next, we're going to be cutting up the jalapenos. Now, I personally like to use gloves when working with peppers because sometimes those oils can get onto your skin and if you accidentally touch your face or your eyes, don't ask me how I know that, but it can burn. I just now, anytime working with peppers, I will put on gloves. Chop these peppers up because we're gonna be adding this to the blender as well. For these dried peppers, the only thing you need to do is pop off that stem. For your onion, I'm using a very small onion. This is an onion I actually grew, so it is super tiny. If you are buying an onion from the store, I suggest using about a quarter of it. Add all of your chopped ingredients into your blender and blend away. You will probably want to blend between 30 seconds and one minute. You also want to add your garlic to the blender as well. After you've blended all of your ingredients, Go ahead, head over to your stove, grab a nice big pan and pour that blended salsa into your pan and add some salt. We're gonna cook this about 10 minutes. This salsa is a little light colored, but as we cook it, it is going to darken up. Ooh, look at it bubbling and sizzling. As you can see, it started bubbling and now it is a dark, rich color. Grab your spoon and let's go ahead and remove all of this foam. Ah, much, much better now. Nice, clean salsa. Add a squeeze of lime. This helps preserve your salsa for a few weeks. You can also add a little vinegar for preserving if you choose to do so. Now it's time to enjoy this red salsa. You could also chop up some fresh cilantro. Salsa is one of my favorite things to eat. I'm gonna be sharing hatch chili recipe coming up soon, so be sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already. Give this channel a thumbs up because it really helps us out. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Enjoy. Enjoy.